Hello, I'm Andrea Byrne. Welcome to Wales at Six. At some point in our lives, one in three of us will develop cancer and even more of us will know a loved one who will experience it. But recent research from a cancer charity says 43% of people don't believe the Welsh Government is doing enough to tackle it. In a moment, we'll be hearing what the political parties will be offering ahead of the Assembly elections in May. But first, our health correspondent Rob Osborne has been hearing how patients want to change the future future of cancer care. Annie Mulholland is a remarkable woman and a remarkable campaigner. After a diagnosis of terminal ovarian cancer, she rented a London flat to get access to cancer drugs that were not available in Wales. She doesn't want future patients to do the same thing. So she's organised an event, bringing cancer patients and cancer charities together. This is Annie's army and they're marching on the assembly. I can't tell you what it feels like when you realise that you've been discriminated against. You can't have a drug or a treatment. You feel on your own. And I sort of sorted myself out. I got to London and there's a guilt in that, that I have treatment that people here are not having. And so I just committed the remainder of my life to sorting it out. <laughs> Everyone in this room has been touched by cancer and in future, more of us will be affected by it. The Welsh Government has spent more money than ever on treating the disease, but there's still plenty of frustrations. As his patients would benefit from England and Wales having the same drugs, so that we are put into the dilemma of Better cancer care will be a priority for the next Government. So I brought Annie and other prominent cancer campaigners for tea and cakes in the assembly. Sum up the patient experience when it comes to cancer in Wales at the moment, a word or a phrase. Disgruntled. Inconsistent at times. Second class NHS system. Smoke and mirrors. Is anybody saying anything that you think they got the right idea? There's probably solutions there, but they're spending too much time talking about them and arguing about them instead of putting progress in place. I moved over to England and there was clearly a difference there, in particular in, in terms of um, access to funding. I don't necessarily believe that the Cancer Drugs Fund is the answer, I don't profess to know what the answer is. However, the Cancer Drugs Fund did allow me to access a treatment that was effective. There's drugs available in England which are not available in Wales and when you've got cancer it's very, very stressful as it is and then to have to, for myself, have to self-fund it was, it was even more stress to the situation. What's your message to the next health minister, whoever that may be? We know there's difficult decisions. We know the NHS has got some challenges and as patients we want to understand that so don't hide the problems from us, help us to be part of the solution. England may have drugs not available in Wales, but it does work both ways. The system can be confusing. Thank you. An election means the politicians want to hear from the patients, but everyone here wants that conversation to continue after May the 5th. And Annie wants that to be her legacy. Rob Osborne, ITV News.